once our democracy is under threat, you expect that Chishimba Kamwili will be there to speak against such vices. It is extremely disappointing and mind, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's extremely disappointing and mind, mind uh, boggling to see what is going on in this country. I think we are slowly losing our democratic tenets that uh, the MMD brought to this country in 1991. It appears that successive governments, but more or less this current, current government wants to weaponize the law enforcement agencies to gag divergent views. And this is extremely disappointing. Disappointing more especially when you are a government presenting yourselves as those that want to fight corruption. And then you decide to start arresting we saw blowers. The fight against corruption, crime, all over the world depends on whistleblowers. In fact, in the developed world, whistleblowers are highly appreciated and protected. What has happened to my younger brother, Honorable Munia Zulu, must be of concern to all well-meaning Zambians. And I want to appeal to those in government that the route that you have taken on Munia Zulu is not the way to go. First and foremost, Munia Zulu was speaking as APNAC Secretary General. He was speaking from parliament grounds where members of parliament enjoy immunity. To me, what Honorable Munia Zulu said on that particular day must invite those in government and the law enforcement agencies to engage him and get to the bottom of the allegation. I am not saying that Minister Musokotwani or indeed Minister Charles Milupi are guilt as alleged. But I think when somebody comes as a whistleblower with some information, what is important is that we must get to the bottom of it other than rushing to threaten them. And what is disappointing most is that the first person to make a comment over Munia Zulu was the Republican president claiming that he has directed the two ministers to sue Munia Zulu. That, in my view, is a very big mistake by a sitting president. Because that simply means that no matter what evidence that Munia Zulu has, the law enforcement agencies will not take it seriously will not even take action because the head of state has already shown that he's defending the ministers and that is indirectly directing the police to arrest Munia Zulu and charge him with a case of criminal libel. In any case, if the two ministers felt that they were injured, the best they can do is to sue Munia Zulu through the civil proceedings with a case of, uh, uh, you know, defamation. But to start using the police to fight divergent views, particularly by political opponents, using the criminal law, should not be encouraged. 
as far as I'm concerned, Apnak is a watchdog. Apnak is a watchdog on government and any public institution or in only individuals who work in the public sector on issues of corruption. That is the all essence of the existence of APNAC. Now, if an official of APNAC says he has received information that such and such a public uh, worker or a public employee, a minister or, you know, indeed any official has committed an offense, the best the law enforcement agencies can do is to engage that person and get to the bottom of it. But the way this issue has been handled from the president, the police, leaves much to be desired. And I think it shows that the current government does not mean well in the fight against corruption. They should have let the due process of the investigations and the law to take its course, allow Munia Zulu to bring the evidence that he has, investigate, and then if the investigations are negative, then the two ministers could have taken out legal uh, 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 redress using the civil proceedings to arrest a member of parliament in the manner Munia Zulu was arrested when he's just a whistleblower is an upfront on democracy and it is an insult to the people of Zambia that believe that the executive must fight corruption regardless of who is mentioned. I think Munia Zulu has been treated very badly by the police to the extent that people of Zambia will now have doubts as to whether this government means well in the fight against corruption. My appeal to the Inspector General of Police, please don't be used. Don't be used to intimidate citizens or political opponents of the ruling government by unnecessary arrests. What the police should have done was to wait for Honorable Munia Zulu. In fact, he has said that uh, he, he, he has written to the Director of Public Prosecution so that he can take out a private prosecution against the two ministers. So why rush to arrest him? Because if you arrest him and then he's going to do a private prosecution against the ministers, it means uh, the whole system has been threatened. Where does it leave the office of the Director of Public Prosecution to give him consent? Where does it leave the police to help uh, with the arrest of these uh, uh, ministers? So to me, what has happened to Munia Zulu should be deserved by all well-meaning Zambians. Having said that, that does not mean that every allegation that is brought before people is... Uh, you know, uh, is, is, I mean, simply put it, does not mean that when there is an allegation against somebody, then that somebody is guilty. What we need is to do a thorough investigation and get to the bottom of it. But rushing to arrest the whistleblower is an upfront to democracy and it should not be allowed. Munia Zulu deserves to be treated better if people who love to bring uh, you know complaints and evidence against public service officers including ministers and uh, senior government officials please my appeal inspector general of police release munia zulu release munia zulu and to my dear brother the director of public prosecution allow Munia Zulu to take private prosecution. And once the ministers have been cleared by the law through the courts that indeed they were not corrupt as alleged by Munia Zulu, then they can take 
a legal action, you know, through the civil proceedings of defamation. But if you are going to arrest Moni Azulu and charge him with libel against the two ministers, when he wants to take a, a, a private prosecution against them, does not, you know, uh, auger well with uh, the um, rights of, of citizens to first and foremost freedom of expression and also call out certain individuals when they feel that they've committed an offense. I appeal to the police, I appeal to the president, I appeal to the Minister of Home Affairs to release Munia Zulu, let him go ahead with his uh, private prosecution. If the two ministers will be cleared, then they will have the right to sue Munia Zulu. But for now, it's premature to charge him with uh, libel. Because he still insists that he has got uh, concrete uh, evidence. But if he's treated like this, then we will take it that there is uh, intimidation against him so that the truth cannot come out. Chishimba Kamwiri, signing off.